Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. It is good to be back here in the classroom. Um, it was a busy weekend, and I say that every week, but this one was a lot of fun. It was just us, family, um, enjoying each other. You know, pretty much the entire year, we're busy with the boys and their sports, whether it's games and practices, and it's a crazy schedule. But we really did not have a schedule at all this weekend. Uh, we got to enjoy uh, the beach. We did some fishing, just relaxing, enjoying each other's company. That was fun. I love those types of weekends because this weekend coming up here, we're full of sports again, and that is fun as well. But it's good to have a break every once in a while. Uh, it was good to see so many of you on Sunday. I was on with Maiden and Tim Sunday night, and what a joy that was. You know, they made it so easy just to go in there and talk about, you know, being a Wrigley Field vendor, cards, just having fun. And I enjoyed that so much. I also have my very first trading card right over here, folks. And uh, it's on a nice little card stock I have here at school. But I need to work on the sizing. You know, I am not the greatest uh, computer worker of all time. So I need to work at shrinking it in the printer a little bit. There's a normal playing card right there. And my buddy right over here, Robert Singraber, uh, I, I showed this to him. He said it was awesome. So I'm going to print off a copy and give it to him um, as well. So thank you to Maiden. I had a great time with you and Tim. And uh, again, if I stay up late on a day, you know it's a good time. So all right. So this week, folks, we are in the end of the school year. Uh, tomorrow we will do the raffle. We've got the two tumblers right over here. Keeps cold drinks cold, hot drinks hot. What else could you ask for? And um, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll also open some packs. I just got some loose packs of stuff. I'm going to bring those in. I'm going to rip them. Uh, be basketball, football, and baseball tomorrow. But today, a little bit larger rip to celebrate the end of the school year. This finally came in the mail here. This has been my favorite product the past couple of years. We'll get into that. I'll probably do a speed rip. So you don't have to watch me open in all these packs. And we'll also go downtown hunting. Going to do the whole blaster here. You know, I was going to have to save these throughout the year. But now that we have that downtown, we can do them a, a little bit easier, a little bit freer now. Um, man, what else do I got to go over here? Oh, home run challenge. My main man, like I've been saying for like a few days, Bryce Harper, he went yard, and I was telling people, you want to follow me on this. So much so, one of the other contestants, Cards by Mark, was like, I mean, this makes sense. Why don't I just take the easy route and play the sports card ripping teacher, Vince. He picked Bryce Harper as well, so we both got our uh, bonus points for Harper going yard. And this week, I was kind of looking it over, and nothing really stood out to me with matchups and that's just the way it goes sometimes so i'm actually going with julio rodriguez and i'm gonna go with j rod on um saturday june 1st uh, i forget who he's going on. i think reed detmers maybe he's one for three lifetime that one hit it was a home run so that's a benefit and uh the angels bullpen is not good and I can say that because the Cubs bullpen has not been good of late either. Cubs hitting has not been good either. But I don't need to go off on a tangent with that now, do I? All right, class is in session. Today is Monday, May 28th, lesson 181. And today would have been one of the greatest athletes of all time, their birthday. And your mind is probably racing all these athletes of who it could be. Maybe, you know, a Michael Jordan, a Wayne Gretzky. But... Jim Thorpe. He played all the sports out there. Olympian, you know, just an outstanding athlete. And I always kind of mention that to the students because we used to have in fourth grade um, a biography unit. And Jim Thorpe was one of the biographies. And, uh, you know, he is one of the best athletes of all time. Today's lesson goes out to Jim Thorpe. Uh, we're going to kind of speed rip here. So I'm going to rip it on the classroom. You know, put the uh, super fast mode on so you're not watching me just rip a bunch of packs here and then we'll go over them. All right, come on, come on. You know, Elvin Chipmunk. Boy, that's a lot of packs. I mean, you can't go wrong with all of these packs here. So let me just get to ripping. I'm really excited for this product. Uh, 
um, it comes out to like a 2023 product, and I keep feeling maybe to just like skip a year or just like give everyone overtime for a weekend and print them during the right time. I mean, so they're probably making a lot of dough, so they could just say, hey, we're going to give you guys time and a half or time times two. Coming out of Saturday, let's print cards on time. I mean, I want to make more work for other people, but let's get things out at a good pace. I'm going to make a big mess here in the classroom. I'll clean up everything. I've just been seeing people pull fire out of these um, boxes. I did go ahead and order uh, one more box off of Tops, and they actually had the cheapest price uh, with free shipping as well. No, Fanatics had the same price. Um, I think they had a free shipping. They still charge at $2.99 for that handle, which kind of was a strange thing. You know, this day and age, but hey, that's what they do. Um, a lot of people get you know, a bunch of uh, number cards on the product. Uh, some people's hobby boxes had two autographs in there. That's always a pretty cool thing to get right there. We're back. Man, that's a lot of packs. And I said in the video, uh, when you only open up, you know, like one, two, three packs, a video, or maybe a blaster box every once in a while, I'm not used to all that ripping there. So here's the car design. Blake Sable. Kind of take a look at the back there. And I, I, I've loved this set the past couple of years. Just wish it would come out on time. Orlando Cepeda. John Gray. Kyle Gibson. Gary Carter. That's just yellow because it's the Marlins, I think. Yep. There's Yoshida. Ken Griffey Jr. with the hat backwards. Looking good right there. Steve Carlton. Woods Richardson. He's having a pretty good year. I have his autograph last year from Chrome. And you know, if I have an auto of a player, I do kind of keep an eye on them. And our first parallel is a Spencer Steer. Very nice. That's out of 126 out of 100. It's pretty good right there. We'll put that over my card. Ty Cobb, Brandon Hughes. I don't think he's a Cub anymore. The Cubs checklist, like I said in this, is pretty crazy. Christian Walker, Babe Ruth. Oh, man. I'm going to add this to my students' uh, packs. You know, I am going to make the set of this, but I'll get another Babe Ruth at some point. They just love seeing these, you know, heroic players of the past and think that they're super valuable, but I'm going to add that to the pile that I have going for them. Uh, students get a blaster box tomorrow. I'll call it, you know, blaster boxes better than the store. Roberto Clemente. Marte. Jose Canseco. I've seen a couple of Jose Canseco autographs uh, come out of these. Lou Brock. Oh, man. Another Chicago Cub. All right, we got uh, Dermis Garcia is going to be our autograph. Oakland A's not having a great year, so I'll have to look up and see how he's doing. Alan Trammell. Eloy. Man, Eloy could hit. Just why do they have him playing the field? He's always going to get hurt out there or hurt someone else. That's my biggest fear. You know, I'm, I'm not a White Sox fan, obviously, but uh, he's going to hurt Luis uh, Robert out there someday. Lou Bob should be coming back pretty soon. You know, maybe the Cubs should trade for uh, Luis Roberts. They need some help, that's for sure. Mookie Betts, Corbin Burns, Joe Maurer, Tristan Casas, Hayden Wisniewski. All right, we got another parallel coming up here. Jim Edmonds was a Cub for a short bit, 50 out of 75. And my wife always talked about him as I think his wife was on one of the housewife shows or something like that. And she always said he, he's not a very cool guy. I'm like, well, he really didn't seem like the, uh, you know, lovable type when he was a Cardinal for sure or a Cub. Shout out to the Rock of Woodridge. That's one of his favorite players right there in that throwback White Sox uniform. Bo Jackson. Always good to see a Bo Jackson card. Ken Wall the Chuck. Is there something stuck on this one? Nope. Nicky Lopez. Tom Glavin. 
Carlos Rodon, Johnny Bench, Zach Neto. That's the first pile through there. All right, let's see. Will the Thrill Clark shout out to Doogie's dugout, one of his favorite players. There, we do have two autographs. All right, we got a Bo Naylor, and this one is 63 out of 199. So that is autograph number two. I do have some extra stands here I brought up for today. Figuring we get some nice hits out of this product. The big man, Kyle Schwarber. Man, he better have some home run challenge cards coming up. And we've got a Dalton Guthrie. That's going to be out of 25, 8 out of 25. Very nice. Jonathan India, Ryan Howard, Vinny Pasquantina, Taylor Ward, Key Brian Hay, shout out to the kit of cards. So I had mentioned him before, and you know he had to pay that YouTube tax. I think he's back to 99 subs. So we should go back, sub up the kit of cards, watch a couple of videos, get him to 100. You know, for a kid that's just going into, uh, what's Brock going into, sixth grade, you know, to have 100 subs on your YouTube channel, that would be awesome. Ferguson Jenkins, Fergie. Is that a refractor, I think? No, I just kind of, yeah, it, I think it is. I, I don't know. Through the camera, it is kind of hard to see some of those things. Travis Swaggerty, Joe Musgrove. All right, one more pile to go here. Got a Yander Diaz, Whitey Ford. Caleb Killian, Chicago Cubbies, and we got a number, Lobar, P Lobar Pagrero, sorry, uh, 48 out of 75, so another numbered card, Jose Miranda, Mike Piazza, man, it was, I forget what I was reading, but it was a trade the Cubs could have had, they could have Mike Piazza and Todd Zeal, but they didn't want to give up some bum. And I forget exactly who it was, but how things could have been different with Mike Piazza in his prime and Todd Zeal. That's cup for you. And here we have one of the tops. Uh, for, oh, very nice. Anthony Volpe has the tops background right there. That's 452 out of 499. Very nice. And another one, Israel. Pineda, that was uh, Juan Soto there for a second there. But that's going to be 55 out of 499. We actually start off pretty slow with our parallels there, but definitely uh, made up for it at the end there. So let's see, what did we get out of this one? So we have, take them off here. We have Spencer Steer out of 100. Jim Edmonds out of 75. Pineda out of 499. Anthony Volpe out of 499. Pagrero out of 75. Dylan Guthrie out of 25. Eloy's the X-Fractor there and two autographs. One of them is numbered as well. So that's, you know, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I look forward to making this set and getting into more of it. So now... Let's do a little bit of downtown hunt today, folks. And I do have two Brett Favre cards right over there. I'll be doing a short with that pretty soon. Um, Hammy and Son, he is uh, he challenged everyone to do 22 days of shorts. And the specific number 22 is, you know, we just got done celebrating um, Memorial Day and those veterans you know, that did pay the ultimate price for our freedom. He would like people just to kind of make aware, show our support for veterans, of uh, because um, on average, 22 veterans do commit suicide um, daily. And just to make aware of that, and I had talked about, I'm on the Chicago Golf Tour podcast where uh, Grayson Murray, a golfer, he did uh, commit suicide over the weekend. And we just don't know what people are going through. And that's why it's so important to stay in contact with people, uh, whether it's on the phone, in person, you know, just not always texting. And that's kind of one of my biggest fears is that we're just like a texting society and not like connecting with people. So just to help make awareness uh, for that, I will be doing that VR here uh, probably before I leave school uh, today. Anthony Richardson, oh, Grant will be after that one. It's probably doubles I have of that card there, so I should probably just trade him for that one. But uh, go ahead, kind of check out um, 
Cammy and Son, a couple of his videos, he talked about it. And also uh, going over, you know, the difference between Armed Forces Day, Veterans Day, and Memorial Day. And believe it or not, I still need like three or four more cards for this set. I have not um, gone over them. I don't know why Curtis Samuels there is upside down, but he is nothing special about that one there. Isaiah Foskey. But I have not gone over the past few packs of these that I have had, so hopefully I can get that set completed. Got the downtown out of here, folks. That's what, no, that was the main thing. All right, take that Justin Jefferson off of there. Pretty nice Justin, Justin Jefferson there. Another Justin Jefferson. Maybe a Justin Jefferson downtown. You never know. You never know until you open the packs, folks. Come on. Uh, there is time if you do want to um, enter the uh, contest for the mugs, go ahead and just go and search for the video that has the picture of the big mug on there. Um, it was on a Monday. Uh, enter. There's two contests going on. One of them is for teachers and the other one is for anyone. Michael Mayer, University of Notre Dame. Two more packs to go. All right. Man, look at this mess over there. I got to get that cleaned up here. In the end of the school year, it is all just fast and furious and messes, folks. So if you know a teacher out there, ask them, like, is your classroom clean right now? And they're going to say no. Will Anderson. Lorenzo Neal. Big fullback. Watch out. All right. Last pack of the day here, folks. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Power Plus Desmond Ritter. We've got a couple of Desmond Ritter autographs. Uh, I would love for him to become big time. Just needs his chance, that's all. Graham this morning was asking Shelly, would you rather have, I think it was like an X amount of money, like $10 million or hang out with Travis and Jason Kelsey for the day? And we're like, it's a no brainer. Like, give me the money. And he kept on going lower and lower in money. I'm like, I'll take 20. Well, I started saying no, because I bet they would probably, you know, be pretty generous and, you know, buy a nice meal, stuff like that. So, you know, it would take a decent amount of money before I say, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go and hang out with them. So there is no downtown today, folks, but hey, look at all the hits we got out of our tops platinum. And look at this card right here, the big old box topper of me. Class is dismissed.